Hey y'all, as you can tell by the title, I've been shopping again. I know I shouldn't be, but every time I go shopping for somebody else, seems like I always find stuff for myself. So I decided to show you all a couple of things just because you might be doing Christmas shopping right now or about to do Christmas shopping and you might have a beauty lover in your life. And you might want to get them some of this stuff. Plus, um, since I'm on here saying it's my last haul of the year, I hope you all hold me to it. So I figured I would show you all and there will be no more until at least January. <laughs> so let's get started. Well, first, let me say, excuse how I'm looking here. Um, I just got home from doing some Christmas shopping and I bought a couple items that I'm going to show you here today. Um, so if I'm looking less than perfect, excuse that. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, first I'm going to start with some stuff I got from Sephora. Um, the first item I have is this Kat Von D Meditation Pigment. That's what it looks like. Um, this was on clearance from Sephora for like 7 bucks, I believe. So let me see if you can see the color. So I actually got this last week and I've already worn it. I really like it. Not sure if the color's showing up there, but um, it's nighttime, so usually I use daylight. Um, so hopefully you can see this stuff. If not, I just wanted to kind of give you an overview anyway. Okay, so next from Sephora, I got this Tarte, uh, what is this called? Lip Surgeons gift set. And it came with five lip surgences, which are like the chubby pencils. And this was only $34. So since I had never tried these, I wanted to give these a try. So I have tried them now. Because um, like I said, I bought these last week. And so far, so good. I haven't tried all the colors, but... Also, I bought this uh, cream lip stain. And this is the color, I think, Strawberry Kiss or something like that. Oh yeah, Strawberry Kiss number 03. And I have plenty of these. I, I have a blog post about the Sephora cream lip stains, but I really like them. I bought another one, um, and this is color 04. And this is, I believe it's called Endless Purple or Forever Purple or something like that. They don't have the names on the bottom, only numbers. So hopefully that's right, but I'll list it down below like always. Also from Sephora, I bought an OTC lip tar, and this is in the color Grandma. Let me take it out. So that's what it looks like. A bright coral. So I can't wait to wear that. Um, when you buy it from Sephora, it comes with these little miniature brushes too, so that's cool. And let's see, anything else? Okay, also from Sephora, I bought the infamous NARS Albatross. I've been wanting to try this for forever, um, but I keep telling myself I don't need it, which truthfully I don't, but I went ahead and did it. So I tried it. I love it. I do not regret purchasing it. And then the last two items that I bought from Sephora are brushes, and these are the clearance brushes, I believe. Um, they're the professional brushes but they're discontinuing the ones with the silver handle so I bought an eyeliner brush I don't know if you can see that but it's just a skinny eyeliner brush and then I bought a fan brush Let's see if I can get this off so that's what that looks like all right so that's it for my Sephora purchases um, let's see. Also, over the weekend, I finally got a chance to go to an in Glot store. I was in Miami this weekend, and they have one there, the Aventura Mall. So I stopped by there, and they were having a 20% off sale. So I decided to try one of the Freedom palettes. And I picked out all matte colors, because I really don't have that many matte colors. So this is the palette that I put together. And if you're, if you're not familiar with in Glot, um... Basically, they sell these Freedom palettes. You pick whatever colors you want, and you put it in whatever palette size you want. Um, they're cheaper than MAC, um, but they're still high-end shadows. So, haven't actually used it yet. I've only swatched it in the store, so 
Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. <laughs> but um, the colors were very nice in the store. Also from Inglot, I bought a pigment. And let's see if I can show you this without spilling it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is in the color number 82. And Inglot does not name their shadows or any of their items. So, um, But this one... I really really loved in the store it's kind of a coppery pink color it has like a duochrome in it. it's very very pretty actually let me swatch a little bit of it okay so that's it that's it's the one on top and that's with that's um dry so you can use these wet or dry of course, if you do it wet, you're going to get um, a more solid color, but that's it dry. So so that was it from Inglot. Uh, let's see. So from the drugstore, I did buy two mascaras. One is the Colossal, um, what is this? It's the Colossal Volume Express. I think it's Cat Eyes. Looks like that. Has a nice little, like leopard print or cheetah print on the top um so i decided to give this a try i've already tried it and i do like it um not really what i was expecting but i do like it the other one i tried was illegal lengths by maybelline and i do not like this one i feel like it does nothing for my lashes so um i'm thinking about doing a video for the products that i regret buying i'm sure this one will be in there so <laughs> keep an eye out for that Alright, and then the last stuff is the stuff that I just purchased today, and it's from MAC, and I don't know if y'all have been to MAC lately, but they're giving out these cute little holiday gift bags. It's so cute. It's uh, a fabric bag with a rubber bow. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. Anyway, so today I went in there to get um, Guilt by Association eyeshadows, a mineralized eyeshadow. Um, and they were out. I don't know why, but I didn't think that item was too popular. But last time I went there to get the same thing, they were out as well. So maybe it's just the one I'm going to. So I ended up getting um, Ambering Rose Blush. Looks like that. It's very popular. And I also got a lipstick. Because I can't go anywhere and not buy lipstick apparently. So I got Girl About Town, which again is very popular. Looks like that. It's a darker fuchsia color. I feel like this one is a um, pink that's very appropriate for winter. So, All right, and that is it. So um, I hope you like this video. Like I said, this is going to be my last haul video of the year. Um, so... I guess we'll get back to hauling next year, but I need to slow it down because I'm spending too much money. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I always forget something. If you want to see a review on any of these products that I show, just leave it in the um, comment section below. And then thumbs up if you like to see more haul videos next year. All right. Bye.